Hey, what's going on guys? Todd Holland here. Welcome to Phone Sites' weekly tutorial. This time I'm doing something a little bit different than I normally do. Uh, I normally do, you know, a full screen thing, talk about one thing very in depth and, uh, and let you guys to it. But this time I thought I would try going a little more general and building out something that you guys can use no matter what stage in the Phone Sites process you're in. And I like to call it the six steps to success. And that is six different components or activities that you'll complete to take your phone sites from an idea to something that's out there on the market generating you leads or getting you engagement right and so let's dive right in the first thing is to set up your site right um, this is the easy part uh, but what you do you simply open up your dashboard Click on new up in the upper right hand corner, choose the template that you want or go blank if you want to build it out yourself. Name your site something good like, uh, you know, Todd's Bagels or, uh, or, or Daniel's Pop-Tarts uh, or get 5,000 off your, uh, your, your roof or something like that. And then choose your URL, uh, something kind of, you know, relevant to your business, but uh, short and sweet is better, so instead of something like Todd Holland's amazing roofing company at .phonesites.com, just something like Holland Roofs at .phonesites.com. That's probably the best way to go about it. Uh, and that's step one. So if you've done that, you're following along, great job. Next, we're going to go back out here and go to step two, which is editing the copy. And I like to write copy using proven formulas. Uh, if you're writing your own copy, then um, these are two structures that I like to go with. The headline is we're looking for 15 blank who want to blank without blank. So we're looking for 15 business owners who want to generate leads without uh, hiring an expensive marketer. We're looking for 15 homeowners who want to sell their home for top dollar without uh, being bothered by pesky agents. Uh, we are looking for 15 uh, homeowners who want to uh, take advantage of our zero down roof replacement um, without uh, dealing with the insurance, something like that, right? And then the sub headline is almost always the same, which is simply fill this form out to confirm your eligibility, right? And so the, the point of the sub headline is to take what's in the headline itself and then connect that to the opt-in form, which is right below it. And so the way to do that is by reminding them that in order to get whatever is in the headline, they have to fill out the form below it, right? And so that's that's the best copy um, out there. Now, there are some people who are probably on the uh, AI copywriting beta. Uh, and if you are in that position, if you've been invited to that and you're, you're on that plan, disregard this slide because as you know, the phone sites page will write your copy for you now. So amazing there. Uh, the third step is the design part without thinking about it too hard, right? And so I'd like to give just a, just a framework uh, for how I like to design mine. I'll show an example of this in the comments so you guys can just drop down and it's a, it'll be a share funnel so you can literally download it to your account and take a look and make some changes and hopefully rock and roll with it today, right? Uh, but change the background image. If you are in real estate, make it a nice house. If you are in roofing, make it guys on a roof. Um, if you are, you know, interior design, make it a nice interior, you know, use your best judgment. Oftentimes, if you're documenting your work, you already have a lot of this stuff um, saved for marketing material to begin with. So this is just a good place to repurpose it as the background image. Make sure that background image is nice and large, right? So two megabytes, um, uh, it, sorry, <laughs> megabytes, right? Two, um, that's that's the, the size. So basically, you know, for those of you who are not familiar with image sizes, what I recommend doing is going on Google and then just choosing the largest size and then um, finding one that's, you know, or, or Unsplash, not, not necessarily Google. You can go to Unsplash, you can go to uh, pexels.com. These are all places to get free, royalty-free, no-cost um, photography. Uh, and I think Phone Sites has a plugin as well where you can, you can just kind of grab that too. Add a dark filter to the main column. So that main column that you have right there, um, change the color to black and then draw the dimness down to about 35% and then change all the font to white. 
um, all the text colors to white. And so in doing that, you've just taken like 90% of design issues out of the equation, made a really nice looking pop-up style form that has some depth to it because of the, the difference between the white text and the see-through black um, background of the, of the form itself overlaid on top of a, what I assume to be a colorful uh, or, or bright picture of whatever else is there. That level of contrast is actually really exciting to a viewer. Um, and you know, with, with everything, there's different you know, approaches. You don't have to do it this way. This isn't like the way to do it, but it's one way to do it. And it's one way that works really well across the board. So give it a shot. And uh, if it doesn't work, then you know, obviously try some, some other stuff too. The fourth step uh, is to thank your, your guests, your opt-ins with the thank you page. Uh, I like to think of the thank you page as the, uh, the first true money maker in the sales funnel because while the lead generation page or the, the opt-in page uh, will get people in your database, it won't do much more than that unless you have something compelling on your thank you page. Um, traditionally, you would have, you know, kind of a, a lead magnet, which is just like a, an item of value or an ebook or a PDF that you would deliver on, on the thank you page in the form of a link to, you know, Dropbox or wherever it's being hosted. But you can do way more than that. And I encourage you to do way more than that. I've given a couple of ideas here um, in the slide, uh, like putting your schedule in there. It's a great way to get people to book appointments directly with you or your client, just to go to Calendly.com, make an account, I think it's free or very low cost, and grab the embed code, click on code inside of phone sites and just paste it right in there. Um, you can have a video, so there's a YouTube button, and when you click on blocks, there's a, 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 a button for... Um, for that and you'll be able to like do a next steps video or a thank you video that, that gives more um, connection between you and your audience. It, it kind of makes you more uh, of a human, right? People like to buy from people and so that's, that's a way about it. And then um, testimonials are great for the thank you page too to sort of reinforce why they opted in and get them to take that next step, whatever that next step is. Um, a really good thank you page has all three of these things. It has a, a video pre-selling the need to book an appointment. It has the appointment widget embedded right into the page. And it has testimonials that encourage the, uh, the lead to make an appointment and to move forward with you um, with your, your process. And so it's, it's really a powerful thing. And I think it's something that's really overlooked in a lot of campaigns. And it shouldn't be because the most successful campaigns that I've seen have the best thank you pages. And that's no coincidence, you know, why that is. So coming up toward the end here, we've got step number five, which is connecting the dots. I could do a whole video on this one, um, but I and I will ultimately, I'm, I'm almost sure that I will. But I think that, you know, this is one that's going to be good to save and just reuse as time goes on. The way you do it is you open up Zapier or Zapier, and you um, you you select for the trigger webhooks. Um, you just type in webhooks; it'll pop up. It'll give you a link. When you it'll give you an option post. Click on post. Move forward. It'll give you a link. Copy that link. Go over to phone sites. Paste it in settings um, where it says post webhook, and you know, fill the form out just so there's a lead there um, and then hit save and then go back to Zapier, find your CRM. So if you're on AWeber or ActiveCampaign or, or, you know, uh, go high level or any of these different things or even Google Sheets, find that application and then fill it out, fill out the integration so that the lead populates in uh, the way you want it to. If this is confusing or if you've never done this before, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, there'll be future videos and there are videos inside the Phone Funnels course as well um, that show you how to do this stuff. So don't feel overwhelmed. There's plenty of resources to guide you. And um, okay, let's let's dive into the last one here, which is how to, how to share um, the, the Phone Sites page that you built and how to do so in a way that's not salesy, that's not spammy, that's not like annoying, and that actually connects you with the people that you want to connect with 
there's a couple courses, um, several courses in the the Apex Break Free Academy um, ecosystem that would be interesting to look at. Uh, if you're in Apex, um, they're all located in the Build Your Machine section of the coursework. Um, if you're not in Apex, I strongly encourage you to be with an Apex because, hey, um, if, if you want to win, that is the place where all of the winners are presently hanging out. Um, inside of the BFA system, you can also watch Permission-Based Selling. This is a course that a long time ago, um, I actually had a hand in putting this course together. It's not my content by any means, but I, I just when I was starting with Ryan, he had released it, and so me and Another guy had, you know, put the thing together in ClickFunnels before it was moved over by the great Jose Escamilla into uh, Kajabi, which is where it is right now. Absolutely amazing course when it comes to sales, right? Uh, watch Funnel Closers if you are in the business of selling these funnels. And one thing I didn't mention here because I ran out of room is check out Closer Memes for follow-up as well because that's one way to, you know, if you share your link with someone in Messenger and they don't reply for a while, Closer Memes is a great way to get people to reply, and it's just a great thing all around. So, yeah, with that being said, I, I hope you guys found that as helpful as I found it entertaining to make this. I mean, I think this is probably the most concise six-step guide to getting phone sites uh, stuff built out um, the right way quickly and without too much issue. I may turn this into a series and take each one of these six bullet points that we talked about and make each one its own little short video. I think that'll be a lot of fun. With that being said, guys, I appreciate you so much. I will see you all on the other side. Take care of yourselves and uh, happy building. Take care.